Draymond Green and Rudy Gobert don't like one another. Two of the most polarizing players of this generation, from Green's brashy attitude, punching teammates, kicking players in the groin, causing the most successful regular season team a ring, to forcing Kevin Durant out of Golden State, saying we don't need you, called him the B word, a throwback 1980s enforcer, aside from his on-court accomplishments, the future Hall of Famer leaves an enticing legacy from being part of this generation's dynasty warriors, despite undersized at 6'6", playing important stretches of small ball 5, phenomenal basketball IQ, to getting involved in chaotic situations countless times despite the four titles, no player has played with their fan base's emotions more than the Michigan State standout. All the controversy just fuels him having all the talking rights from his podcast, telling the casual fans how little they know about ball, the loudness and constant complaint at times outweighs his encore production, giving him funny nicknames like Mr. Triple Single. Growing up 100 miles northwest of Detroit, a huge fan of the physical defensive Pistons, just 14 years old, watching his favorite team dethrone the powerful Shaq and Kobe's Lakers, one of the rare modern day players with bad boy Pistons mentality, not shy to fight on the court, already fought Tristan Thompson off the court, despite the lack of scoring skills, doubted, the 4 year Spartan stud, Pick 35th overall, gave him extra fuel to work even harder, remembering every name picked above him. Rudy Gobert on the other hand, drafted 27th the year after Draymond, Nuggets traded him to Utah, considered the best defensive center over the last 6 years from the mid 2010s up until the early 2020s, the 3 time defensive player of the year winner continues to get scrutinized for his lack of complete game, struggles guarding the perimeter, his teams constantly getting cooked in the playoffs, with him anchoring the defense, even if the loss is not all his fault, Rudy ends up getting most of the blame. The punching back for former players, randomly drawing shade at the Frenchman. Yeah, so I was move. so mad at Rudy one when move. they were playing against the Rockets one year, bro. And Chris Paul was guarding him in the post. I was mad as shit. He couldn't do nothing. Nothing. That's bro, you 7'2", and a point guard is guarding you. He had no moves. When declaring for the draft, his length and 7'9 wingspan earned him the nickname Stifle Tower, a work in progress in and out the G League, similar to Draymond's upbringing. Rudy also made an early NBA living, proving many wrong, underappreciated and misvalued, similar to Green, motivated by being passed up 26 times, just like Draymond wears 35, number he was drafted, Gobert wears 27. A lackluster 45 total games as a rookie, in and out the G League, followed by playing all 82 his second season, already exceeded expectations, proving many wrong, but that didn't stop Rudy from wanting to get better. Starting 2015, both Draymond and Gobert made the most unexpected player ranking jump. Draymond finished second for most improved, second in DPOY, won a title as the team's third best player. Draymond then became the most vilified star as an enforcer, only a $25,000 fine for the brutal kick on Steven Adams. Fortunately, Adam Silver didn't have the audacity to suspend Draymond, only given a warning, of course wasn't in his best behavior, taking a swipe at LeBron, garbage time game 4, team was a win away from repeating, absolutely failed to control his composure, the most crucial moments, Golden State fell apart last 3 games, ruined Steph's unanimous MVP near perfect season, after the signing of superstar KD, Draymond won his first defensive player of the year award, 24 year old Rudy finished behind him, the Frenchman third for most improved player, the two became known as two of the best defenders in the league, earliest instant, Gobert feeling snuff for the award 2017, the leading shot blocker, Utah allowed the fewest points in the league, third in defensive rating, before the award finalized, Rudy praises guys like Draymond, Patrick Beverly, Kawhi Leonard, how everybody impacts the game differently, proving he belongs in the conversation. When asked about Draymond's versatility, guarding different positions, compared to Rudy himself as a traditional big, more of a pain protector, a tie where the league changed heavily to small ball, many wondered if a traditional big can have as much impact as a guy who's more versatile, guarding every position on the floor, Rudy responds, Draymond is great at guarding multiple positions and switching, but for myself, I impact people that I'm not guarding, you know, when I'm out there, 
and one of the guards has the ball I'm not the primary defender but he knows that if he drives I'm going to be there so he's not going to play the same way that's the way I think the rim protector impacts the game any great rim protector doesn't only impact the game when he blocks shots he impacts the game when he's already in the mind of opponents before they even get a shot up or before they even drive that's what makes a good defensive team Little did anybody expect Draymond having a potential rival, adds more fuel to the fire, Gobert given a professional response, didn't sense to be taking jabs at the outspoken Green, who replied to a direct question about facing Rudy in the upcoming first round matchup before sweeping Utah. Gobert did commit a flagrant on Green garbage time game 1, something Draymond didn't enjoy. Weeks later, Green became a two-time champion. When Bleacher Report posted who's a better defender, Draymond or Kawhi Leonard, the Frenchman goes, laugh my ass off. Without explanation, Rudy perhaps felt disrespected, he wasn't included in the mentions, not completely laughing at the remark between Draymond and Kawhi. In preparation for the 2017-18 season, a hungry Gobert confidently responds, I'm the best defensive player in the league. Speaking with Jazz reporter Eric Woodyard, who's also a Michigan native like Draymond, asks if Rudy's goal to win the defensive player of the year. Of course Rudy says, I think I'm the best defensive player in the league and I want to be the best. The narrative on the best defender that season did change. Rudy's excellent interior presence made him recognized as the league's best defender, won the award despite missing 26 games. Utah went 37 and 19 with him, 14 and 12 without, leading to one of the biggest surprises of the season. The departure of Gordon Hayward, overcoming a 19 and 28 start, led by him being the most valuable Jazz alongside rookie sensation Donovan Mitchell. Gobert won Defensive Player of the Year almost unanimously. The second game 2018-19 season got super interesting. After the better Warriors got smoked twice in Salt Lake the season before, Utah won the season series 3-1. The three wins an average of 29.6 points. Green being the motivator, tried to get his guys fouled up, shoved Gobert from behind. After a common foul, Golden State ended up coming back winning that game. Green getting a taste of Rudy two months later, picked his pockets, but Utah won that one. Rudy 17 and 15 with four blocks made more impact, aiming to make his first all-star appearance. When the player selections officially announced, the 26-year-old realized he was snubbed. Sorry. Literally broke down in tears, also missed out on a $1 million bonus, which normal person wouldn't cry about that. Draymond then tweets, I guess I should have cried too, no Charlotte. To be fair, Green wasn't the only one to criticize the 7 foot Frenchman tearing up. Gobert later then likes a tweet throwing shade at Draymond when asked about Green, Rudy replies, State Warriors, Draymond and Andre and, and some you know, fans as well. Draymond, did you tweet? <laughs> what do you say? As long as he doesn't post anything on Snapchat, we're good. <laughs> Joking about Snapchat? Of course, Draymond continues to mock Gobert three years after crying about the All-Star game. One thing I can assure you, if I didn't make it this year, I wasn't going to cry. I can 100% assure you that. Um, it has to be Rudy. I mean, the man cried on national television when he didn't make the All-Star team. Thank God he's made the next three. Uh, Stop it, Dre. Leave that man alone. I mean, you can't cry, Chuck. I said it then. I'm going to say it now. I got killed yeah. on Twitter then. I'll yeah. probably get killed today. No, but you, you can't right. cry. No, you're right. Come on. You're right. Rudy proceeds to repeat as 2019 Defensive Player of the Year, also won it again in 2021, anchoring the best regular season team, clinching the best record, made the next three All-Star appearance. While Draymond didn't make it between 2019 to 2021, Rudy liking a tweet calling out Draymond, missing a layup, needing to work on his offensive game instead of tweeting nonsense after Golden State got bounced by Memphis in the play-in. Months later, 2022 All-Star Game broadcast, when mentioned in the same sentence, a disgusted Draymond shows his despise for Rudy. You keep mentioning me in the same sentence with him, we're not alike. Who's not alike? You, who you just mentioned me with? Are you not like <laughs> Matumbo or Rudy Gobert? I ain't say Matumbo. Are you not like Gobert? No, we ain't nothing alike. Okay, say no more, Let's, I say less. Gobert responds saying, it's just noise. If anything, when people keep talking about you, it means you're doing something right. I'm just gonna keep trying to be the best Rudy I can be on and off the court for my team, indicating there's no beef on his side as long as you keep your respect. Golden State proceeds to win title number 4. Of course, Draymond's gotta toss some smack towards the ones he don't like. Laughing at Minnesota's bigs, 
Cat and Rudy teaming up, their title hopes, of course, no coincidence, it was Draymond himself who started the 22-23 season with a banger, knocking out his own teammate, obtained by TMC Sports. The Warriors organization, more furious on the footage, leaking out than Draymond's actions, causing dysfunction to start the season, not even a suspension, told him to stay away from the team for a few days. Draymond already ruined his team's chances before things got started. Gobert of course responds, insecurity is always loud. After saying he respects everyone, but kicked Draymond at his lowest moment, Gray A trolling at his finest. A month later, Draymond laughs at Rudy after falling to the ground just standing there instead of running back on offense. Funny enough, it was Gobert to end the 23 regular season punching his own teammate. Green started this whole thing, Rudy finished it. Draymond mocks Rudy with his own tweet, then goes on to say he gains more respect for him. Now on to this season, just games before, Draymond got under Donovan Mitchell's skin, pushed him on a fast break, d Mitch, the type of guy who doesn't get to altercations, had none of it, led to Draymond's ejection, only for Green very next game to talk shit to Anthony Edwards, the young star wasn't worried about any of that, absolutely destroyed Draymond and Golden State, ran them off their home floor, teammate Steph gets injured, Draymond himself useless without his all-star great teammate, score 0-0, not even 2 minutes in, it was Jaden McDaniel and Clay getting tangled up, but Draymond stole all the headlines, aggressively choking Rudy Gobert from behind, not letting go, a good 5 seconds, WWE style. For all you Draymond defenders, how can anyone justify this type of behavior? No place in today's NBA. Rudy touched Clay for a split second doesn't mean it's necessary for Green to hold on to him forever squeezing hard. Looking at that mean face, absolute malicious intentions with that expression. Gobert being too gentle wasn't even that furious, Draymond knowing Rudy not the type of guy to hit back, the Frenchman telling himself Steph was not playing, so Draymond's going to try to get ejected, every time Steph doesn't play, he doesn't want to play, he'll do anything he can to get ejected, and the numbers don't lie. Draymond indeed 5 times more likely to get drawn out when Curry's not playing, 18 times tossed out since entering the league, first 7 with Steph in the game. First time drawn out without Curry, November 11, 2019. That game also coming against Gobert with Utah. Next four ejections, Curry DMPs. Seven of his last 11 took place with Steph not in uniform, proving Rudy correct. Dragging him from the three-point line to the free throw line. Absolutely intentional, suspended five games only to have his team in deeper troubles. And we still have over a month till Christmas, Golden State blowing up in front of our eyes. Of course, Steve Kerr doesn't fully condemn Dre's actions, coaching him for 8 years now, when having the opportunity to put his hands on Rudy, the guy who won more defensive player of the years than him, Kerr screaming, let him go, and Green still refuse, it's an absolute travesty. Call Anthony Town makes a muck face, got choked himself years ago by Ben Simmons to submission, doesn't help his teammate in any way, so much for being 7 foot for nothing, where's the toughness, waiting for the perfect moment, build up for 6 plus years of drama, absolutely looks personal, no love lost between the two, Dream Mom will always have an excuse saying he was protecting his teammate, until then, the two don't play till March 24th, maybe a potential first round series, Minnesota Golden State, with all the dislike going on in today's NBA, none spicier than Draymond Green and Rudy Gobert, the long awaited beef to be continued, Rudy looking like the early defensive player of the year favorite, just imagine Draymond's reactions if Gobert gets his fourth, which would tie him for most all time, it's November 2023, the dislike between the two, future drama awakes, we might only be halfway there, the rest to be continued.